So we're standing up here with the man himself, Calvin Pilgrim of CP Kites, and he is the man responsible for all these banners you see behind here. Yes, he's the one who invented or created all of these and all of the artwork as well too? Yes. Man, tell us how you do it. Well, just love of country and my creative juices combining together, and there you have it. Interesting, I like the work, the one with the copper bird and the sugar mill. I was with the mocha jumbi and all the yes. frigate birds. So, this is yes. all about yes. historical stuff. Yes, Antiguan symbols. Antiguan symbols. Things that make you Antiguan. Nice. So, what does the independence mean to you? Well, it means, hey, I am a ban. Onion <laughs> said, I am a ban. Yes, indeed. Right? Um, and uh, it's about, you know, love of country and showing patriotism, not only at the independence time, but throughout the year. That's true, exactly. And how long has this been going on? How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this ever since I've known myself. But uh, the Antiguan Barbie, the International Kite Festival, which is held every Easter, that's been going for 17 years now. Okay. This is the second time we're doing this particular production. Okay. The first one was in 2017. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, we, we tried to do it in 2018, but it didn't happen. And then you know COVID yeah, and all yeah, that, yeah. blah blah blah, and so we're here in 2022 doing this it This is again. one of the most beautiful pieces of independence I've ever seen. I'm, I'm glad, glad you feel that you. way. Thank you very much. Glad so where, where do you guys normally have the kite competition? Uh, at Devil's Bridge. At Devil's Bridge. We're going to yeah. come and check you out there, man. Definitely. But thank you very much, Calvin. It was a pleasure in coming here and seeing every this man. This is time. very fascinating. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Definitely. Time. All right. All right, so we're standing up here with, what's your name, darling? Beverly Danvers. Beverly Danvers. Yes. And as you can see, she's outfitted in our national independence costume. This yeah. is called the Madras. Yes. Did you make this yourself? Um, no, someone made it for me. Okay, it's very stylish. I yes, like it. thank you. I made this. Oh, nice. Yes. Wow, that's really nice. You can make one for me, though. I want you to come up all the way up here from there to there okay, on next, both sides. Okay, next time. All right, no problem. <laughs> so tell me, um, Beverly, what does independence mean to you this time of year? Well, to be honest, I mean, it means that, you know, we as black people or black heritage, mm -hmm. and let me tell you, I look forward to seeing all the flags. And let me tell you, Antigua has the prettiest flag. I don't care where you are from. We in Antigua, we have the prettiest flags. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And it has a bunch of symbols on it, different colors. And it yes. was designed by Sir Reginald Samuels in 1966. And he won $500 having the most prettiest flag yes. and all the symbols in the flag has a meaning behind of it all the different colors the red which symbolizes uh, the blood the that our ancestors shed, shed. the blue <laughs> resembles the ocean the ocean yes the our white, sea yep the yeah. white resembles the beautiful white sandy the beautiful beaches beautiful white sandy beaches you're sending no. me way 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 back yeah man yeah man we got to go back with our roots you know what i'm saying so tell me beverly what is your favorite independence dish like when it comes around this time of year you have a bunch of different foods yes different i meals. know yeah i my favorite is the fungi and saltfish Ooh. with the chopper mm -hmm. i love that Just a call lot of me people by my say name. Dukana and mm. saltfish but no i'm a fungi girl so what is the fungi made from it's made from cornmeal mm -hmm. and some persons put the little okra in there mm. and that's what I love about it. Nice it makes it soft, nice, slimy. right yeah. and smooth Ooh. and the salt fish. Hey Charlie, we got to go and get some of like that. Let me tell water you and something. Mm -hmm. And you put a little, you know, um, planting on the side. And yes, sir. Man, that's mm -hmm. a lovely dish. You're feeling it, right? Yo, you give me goosebumps <laughs> right now thinking about it. So tell me, where in Antigua is your favorite place to be? Even even if it's not independent, uh -huh. where where do you like to go? Like uh, historically, a as historical well as beaches, place. which whichever. To be honest, I love going up Shirley's Heights. Oh, nice! When I go up Shirley's Heights and I look over Dockyard, yes. it's a beautiful, beautiful sight. Beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. sight. So I love Shirley's Heights. I'm glad to hear that, Beverly. Thank you very much once again, and enjoy yes. the rest of the independence. I definitely will. And I'll see you on. Hey, remember more on this, you know, you Yes, to yes. I'm right? gonna try make one All for right. you. No All right. There you go guys, we're going to go off and we're going to find some more people asking what is your favorite independence dish and what does independence mean to you? Stay tuned, Calypso Kids TV. Alright, so next to us here now we have, what's your name? Brendan George. Brendan George. And I can tell he's going to be our future lawyer, doctor, politician right here. Just the way we always said it. Brendan George. 
authentic. Anyways, so tell us, Brendan, what do you like about independence? Well, what I like about independence is that it is good to see people respecting their culture. Like, some people don't even respect it. I just like to see Antigua celebrate. Hold on one second. What are you studying in school? This, this young man needs to get elevated and move into university, I'm telling you. Alright guys, another episode of Calypso Kids TV, a day with Ray. Today we are at One Stone Eitel Shack and we're here with the man Woody. At the smoothie bar. At the smoothie bar. And guess what guys, it's our 41st anniversary of Antiguan Independence. We're going to ask Woody here about his favorite time in Independence and what do you like to do, that sort of stuff. So you can give us a little historic background. Well, the Independence Day usually I stay home and cook for my friends. Okay, okay. While other people go out and have different... Functions. You just mentioned cook. What do you normally cook? Because now you get my home. The kind of day you cook dukuna uh -huh. and saltfish with chop up. Nice. Who's your favorite Calypsonian and stuff to listen to that time? Well, I listen to all the local guys. I like them. Like Shad, 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 Shad Absinet, Absi Absi yeah, Kaiser yeah. Joe, them guys. Sing us one of your favorite Absi songs. Ah, uh, Shad, whichever one, whichever I, one. <laughs> now I'm going to put I, you in a spot. I, 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 <laughs> I know the word too much, but the favorite, to me, one of the best colors I've ever here yeah, is absolute wet your hand and wait for me. Okay, yes, yes, I know that song. I, as you, you hear said that it, song, I you just said you're watching it. Wet like, your hand and wait for me. Yeah. Every man and ten, 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 ten. Behind of me here, this is the statue of the late Sir B.C. Bird Sr., who is the founding father of Antigua and Barbuda, also one of our national heroes. This statue has been put here in memorial of our late founding father, and as you can see, it's solidarity. What are your names? Opal. Opal and Ruby. Nice, and they are in their independence outfit as well too. Girls, tell us, what is it about independence that you like? How have you been enjoying it so far? Yeah, it is actually coming up. So it's leading up to independence. We're celebrating 41 years of independence. You guys know this? 41 years, yes indeed. So now you are celebrating a few years of independence with us. What about it do you like? Do you like the activities, the entertainment, the dancing, the singing, the food, the culture? The culture? Nice, nice. And what about, what in the culture? Tell me about the food. What type of food do you like when it comes around this time of year? The, the curry. <laughs> I like that, I like curry too, don't worry. But you like the pepper pot, the funji, and the nice. Funji and saltfish with, with some chop up and them things there. Nice. Standing up here with a beautiful Miss Amazing, Miss Farmer, Queen of Carnival, Miss Universe, etc. etc. The lovely Sherman Jeremy. Hello. 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 Welcome to Calypso Kids TV. It's a pleasure. I love this. Yeah, it's a pleasure having you and just running into you just right? like this. That's incredible. And your beautiful Destiny. children. These Thank guys are so you. smart. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, man. So tell us, Sherman, how long have you been partaking in Antigua's independence? Honestly, it's, it's a comeback for me because I lived away for most of my adult life. Okay, okay. And so I'm more or less back home now. And then right after came COVID. So I'm literally now starting to feel like I'm getting back into the swing of feeling and being Antiguan and Barbadian, yeah, yep, you know? Yeah, that's and special. Independence is the perfect time for really honing in on culture and yep. heritage and history and what it means to be an Antiguan and Barbadian. So. That is so true. And I'm yeah. glad to hear that from you. So yeah. tell us, what is your favorite national dish? Oh, I'm a punji girl all day long. I also cook it very well. Yeah, I'm a pass by a little bit. Right, I'm just saying. So punji and saltfish for me, and I also love my punji with pepper pot. Oh. So, yes. Oh, yes, my God. My mouth is watering here in that right now, I'm telling you. So, um, out of the different historical sites in Antigua, 
all of the beaches and so on. Where, uh, what is your favorite place to be at? Where's your favorite place to go? Honestly, my favorite spot in Antigua, although they, there are many and it's hard to choose, but the, the, the part, the place that never gets tired for me is Shirley Heights Lookout. Woo! Yep, this is the fourth okay. out of fifth person to say that. Tell us why, Shirley. So I, you know, I work in tourism, so I get around. Okay, right? okay. But ev I don't know what it is, but every time we do something at Shirley Heights, you would think that having seen it so many times, that epic view, that's really, that's really our one of our most unique shots, views, places yes, in Antigua. Yes, it is yes. the most memorable place. Yes. So every time I go there, I keep expecting, oh yeah, I'm just going to Shirley Heights and I get there <laughs> and I'm always like, my God. And the weather up there changes a lot. So sometimes you will see Guadeloupe, which is like yes. 69 miles away. Then you yes. see Montserrat. You see yes. our other sister island, yes. Redonda. Because Antigua is Antigua, Barbuda, and Redonda. Correct. Just that nobody lives over there anymore. Right. But it is such a phenomenal sight when you climb up to that top. So that's why I hear a lot of people mention about it. So now you're dressed beautiful. though, Sherman. It is beautiful. I mean, it is beautiful. I'm not in full national wear, mm. but... This is, you know, my simple version of it for now because it's, you know, work day still. I'm with the kids. I don't want to be too dressed up, but it's yeah. hot. It's hot, it's hot out here. I so, yeah, that. simple. It is. Yeah. yeah. Yep, yeah. That's why we got to rehydrate with some nice national drinks. Yeah. Tamarind juice. Guava juice. What's your favorite yeah. national drink? I love, I would say tamarind. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. I would say tamarind. All the vitamins and that sort of yes. stuff, and it's good for the sunshine. Yeah. You know, it's got that sweet, bit of sweet taste that I like. Yes, yeah. indeed. Sweet and sour all at the same time. Yep. <laughs> but guys, you know, Shamin, it was a pleasure having you on board Thank here. Thank you. And um, make sure to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, Calypso Kids TV. And we have a lot more to show you guys, man. You know, it's a pleasure once again. This is my Thank first you. time ever interviewing a former queen of crime. Oh, queen in You're still a queen in my eyes and everyone else's eyes. You know what I'm saying? Oh, thank you. You're more than welcome, all right? Enjoy the rest of your day, soon. I will, you too. All right, all that's right. All. Enough big up to Calypso Kids TV from CP Kites. Happy independence, one and all. Yeah man, so we're standing up here with Jalija, owner of Hi. Natural Liberty, right in East Bus Station and Jalija is going to tell us a lot more about her time growing up in the independence stage and tell us what did you think about independence in that time Jalija, like what um, do you like about it? Um, growing up at, um, in Antigua in independence celebration time, it's so joyful and festive everybody's just excited about for the marching yeah. and getting involved in the in the rallies and, and the different the parades, schools competing yeah, yeah. so that was really excited i love that about independence and getting to eat all of the food like your punji and your jokana your coconut dumpling you know stuff like that so that just kind of bring me and i revelate in that type of spirit yeah. so that's why i'm kind of into the whole natural health independence is just all about people using their minds, their body, their spirit to really resonate, resonate with others about the importance of just doing for one another collectively. I'm so yeah, enough so. said. So where in Antigua is your favorite place overall to go? Uh, Antigua is really unique and there's, you can Even say, if it's a beach or historical site or well, wherever? Well, um, definitely Shirley Heights oh, okay. and beaches. I love all beaches, but Shirley Heights to me is like a typical area. Taken. When you go to Shirley Heights, you can just take in that whole scenic See, view, yes, and it's yes, just yes. beautiful. And yeah. then you have um, some of the mills, um, Betty Hope. Betty's I'm not Hope. sure if that's still yeah, it's still going, it's still going. But there's a lot of places. Anywhere you go in Antigua, even the botanical garden, it's the nature for me. I just like just the greenery. Yes, so yes. I always say, go to the park, support those, so we can bring those things alive. And I see you got your place, natural liberty. That's how much you love nature. You name the place after this. This is what we have Definitely. here, natural liberty. So what is this here you've made for oh, me? Yes. This looks so lovely. So what instead of this? our traditional selfish bar, we have a lentil bar. So you're still eating a nugget, but it's natural. Oh. And instead of the meat, you can, you know, for just for health's sake, eat a lentil nugget. So. I'm telling you, you have to come and check it out. Here with Alize. Adeline Elise. Adeline Elise. Okay, nice to meet you. Where are from? I'm from Dominica, uh -huh. where I live in Antigua for over 40 years. Wow! Nice. And where's your favorite place in Antigua to be? 
when in when I roll it because they are leaving since like him 20 guys I live in wow over yes I am years. yes wow. over 40 years I love their Zai with my, my children my three children and married so I love and God bless Antigua yeah man it's Antigua caused me to have what I have right now so yeah, God bless to Antigua to I love Antigua bless Dominique as well too, yes, because Dominique, yes. all of us in the Caribbean yes, my are one country, family my one country family. I, love, I love my country I love Dominica yeah, sweet yeah, Dominica I yeah, love man. it Next year, around that time, I'm in Dominica. Lando, plenty of weavers. Yes, weavers. No respect, man. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy 41 years of independence. This has been a production of Calypso Kids TV, A Day with Ray. And Flag Day, hashtag My268. Happy Independence, Antigua and Barbuda. We have went around and we asked a lot of people what independence means to them. So you have seen what it means to them and what does it mean to you. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Calypso Kids TV, and check us out next time right here, all right? I am Ray, and have a good day.